one, two, doing a test. Mevo, it's recording. All right, if you are not here, I hope you don't watch this. Okay, so, okay, so, as I was saying, it excites me because, you know, if you're in here, I'm, I'm telling you, next year, this is going to give you the upper hand, okay? So, uh, Inman and all of these other, um, you know, real estate, like, things and so on, they're saying 2019 is the year of video in real estate, okay? So, uh, so it excites me that, you know, you're here, and in some way, shape, or form, you kind of want to, you know, dive into this. Now, I know it's scary, I know it's like, oh my gosh, you know, cameras, I know, I know that uh, some of you... Uh, might see my stuff or John's stuff and like say, oh my gosh, their stuff is fancy and flashy. But the reality is this, okay, you do not need anything fancy or flashy. As a matter of fact, I will be showing an example of a friend of mine, okay? This friend of mine just got licensed in Texas, okay? Dallas Fort Worth, okay? Started using video in his business, okay? Literally licensed a month Okay, he just went on his first listing appointment. And one of the biggest selling points for him was that he does video in his social medias, okay? So, uh, so I am gonna talk about, like, I really dislike this whole setup, me both and so on. Okay, so I am gonna go briefly, I know that some of you here, uh, some of you have heard this before, some of you haven't. But I'm going to mix it up a little bit to make sure that, you know, there's like new stuff and so on, okay? So, um, for those of you that don't know me, my only uh, marketing stuff is usually just via social media. Now, I just started doing open houses. I'm having fun with them. I've done two of them in my whole real estate career. They've been a lot of fun. I think I am going to implement them big time in 2019. I think that's something I should have said actually, open houses, because open houses do work if you're doing them right. Don't put one sign out. I literally put out 30 signs when I got that that list by, I, uh, I had mentioned, I like literally showered the whole neighborhood uh, with uh, signs and so on. But anyway, this is about social media, not open houses. <laughs> Okay, so uh, uh, so let's uh, click forward. This is about me. Okay, so okay, it's not coming out. Good, but it's okay though. I'll talk about it. Okay, so okay, real quick. Okay, just to build some foundation about social media. Okay, so it's very important that you are viewing social media in two ways. Okay, number one, influence, and the second way is impact. It's not recording. It's not recording. That's okay, you know, uh, you know, I'm here at the, you know, here in the mountains or whatever, you know. So, oh, cool, Steve's a fun guy, you know. Or I post about my daughter. Oh, cool, he's a family guy. Oh, wow, he's a nice guy. Or I post about real estate. Oh, cool, he loves what he does, and that's it. And okay, I have so many other opinions about a, about a lot of other things, but guess what? My opinion on social media is worthless. All it does is you instantly shut off half of your audience. It's, you know, especially nowadays when, you know, so much is going on in politics and everybody has an opinion. As a matter of fact, the other day I read an article on the Wall Street Journal saying that workplaces are suffering because everybody keeps talking about politics right now, you know? So, okay, so the next time you are gonna use social media, I want you to think influence and impact, okay? Is what I'm about to post, you know, influential in some way, shape, or form. And once you're able to obtain influence, you will be able to impact people, okay? So, so switch your mind when it comes to social media, okay? 2019. Okay, it has to be all about you, not your opinions, though. Is this good or no? Yeah. yeah. Sort of, kind of? I, I got a question. Yeah, you got a question. <laughs> or a comment. Or a comment. I heard this from many different people about posting, 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 posting. 
who, I have the hard time thinking, who cares? Who cares what, who cares? And I'm not sounding like all humble or whatever, but I'm just saying, uh, so I'm gonna post about this or that or this or that. You know, I read Gary B's book and everything, and that, he's just, you know, relentless on it. Yeah. But it's, it's hard for me to believe that what I would have to post continually about my dog or my wife or my kid or whatever, anybody cares. And maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe there's just this curiosity out there that is just rampant. That, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, so switch that thought to, you know, people care to just expressing who you are. And so you're just showing people who you are. That's all it is. You know, so for example, okay, the average person likes to work with someone who's a family guy. You know, most family guys are honest, they're integrous, you know, they're not gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? So if you're portraying yourself like that, and I hope it it really is you, you know what I mean? Okay, so you're just showing people who you are. It's a reflection of the person you are. You know what I'm saying? So, so this isn't like uh, uh, so much as, oh, well, no one cares. No, you're just expressing yourself to the social media world who, what's your name is? What, what is Scott. That? Who Scott is, and that's it. You know? So, for example, if someone only talks about, you know, uh, slaughtering animals is bad, this and that, and so on, and then, oh, hey, guys, I saw houses. No, you're crazy. I'm not going to use you. This guy's always, you know, always hiking. Man, you know, he seems nice. It's just perception. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's passionate about something. Let's not just be so loud about it on your social medias because it's going to ruin your social media business. Okay, so look at this. Okay, so four principles. I, I am going to go go fast on this so that I can show you guys some stuff. Okay, but look at this. Okay, four principles to building lasting success using social media. Okay, so, so number one, I put bring value. It's not showing up well right here. I don't know why. But okay, so bring value. Okay, so the average real estate agent finishes real estate school with this like thought that oh my gosh I'm gonna go show houses and you know I'm gonna do this and then all of a sudden you're shoved into the marketing world it's like oh my gosh I have to market myself what the heck do I do okay so the average real estate agent ruins marketing we suck at marketing we're horrible at marketing okay the average agent sounds like a used car salesman Okay, so, so one of the best ways that you can begin to build your influence using social media is to, is to always bring value in every post. Okay, so for example, okay, let me show you an example. Okay, if every one of your posts is about your open house, that's not really bringing value. If someone wanted to see a house, guess what? They go to Zillow and don't have to mess with any annoying realtor talking about, you know, I have this open house, come to it. I have a... Now, the exact same post could be, could be something like, hey guys, here are three things you could ask the real estate agent at the next open house you walk into. And then you list out three things that the average person should be asking real estate agents as they walk into, okay, so do you see the shift? Mm -hmm. You know, one is actually bringing value to the person on the other side of the screen. The other one is all about you and your open house and you're begging for business. You know, so it's me, 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 me versus give, 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 give. And the person that gives the most always wins. I remember when I started, started doing video, okay, I had people ask me, Steve, aren't you afraid you are giving away too much information? And so I said, well, it's either me or it's Google. And guess what? Most people want to go to Google. So I want to reach them first. So the internet has changed the way people access information. You know, it's a lot easier to go to Google than being annoyed by a human being. 
Make sense? Mm -hmm. So one of so one of the best things you could do in your social medias is every single post in regards to your work is bringing value to them. If every one of your posts is about a listing or a house for sale, who cares? People got Zillow for that. People have the MLS. If someone was actually out, you know, looking for a house, okay, most likely they are not strolling on Instagram looking for houses or on Facebook looking for houses. They're on Redfin, Realtor.com, Zillow.com. So the best way you could use your social media for influence and impact is to provide value in every real estate post you are doing. So next time, next time you want to post about a house, think how could I switch this up so that the focus isn't, isn't on me, but it's on the person that is about to hit this Facebook post or this Instagram post. So for example, Okay, let's say there's a house for sale uh, that, that a person wants to highlight. Okay, so instead of saying, hey guys, here's a four bedroom, two bath house and so on, you can say, hey guys, here are three things you should know about before putting your house on the market to sell. And all of a sudden, you've switched the mindset behind how you post on social media. So I want to encourage everybody, okay, to make that switch, okay, that it's not about us. Look at this. Everybody probably will know you are a real estate agent, and the average realtor either sells houses or buys houses. I don't think they do anything else, right? Okay, so you don't have to yell it out every single time. And so, so many people feel less threatened Whenever it's not you begging for business, but you are a place they can access to get information from. Am I making sense? So you have to become the Google in your sphere. You have to be the person that they know they can come to with questions because you're answering questions already. It's, inc it's insane if you go and see how how the average realtor is using social media, the average realtor is using it incorrectly. Incorrectly. Okay, so, uh, uh, so uh, let me see, you know what? Screw that little remote. <laughs> Actually, the whole thing's messed up, man. Is it frozen? Oh, wow. Okay, so, okay, so this, let's just wing it, all right? Look at this, we're hanging out here. I want you guys to like leave with like really good stuff. Okay, so look at this. Okay, so, so mind shift. Social media is not about us. It's about who? Our consumer. Mind shift. Mind shift. Okay, so look at this. So, number one, bring value in every post, okay? So, for example, every time I post about my daughter, look at this. My wife says, oh my gosh, I hate that, you know, you use our daughter as a ploy to, you know, get people to engage on your social medias. I'm like, hey, do you want to eat next month, yes or no? <laughs> and she's cute, by the way. She's Thank you so much. So sweetie. But, 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 but so, my post, I'm not just, you know, posting about my daughter. I want people to know, hey, I'm a family guy. I love my daughter. I am a sensitive person a lot more than I used to be because I got a daughter now, you know? And so, so I like to express myself like that. I want people, people to see that I'm a family guy, okay? The average person likes honest family guys. So I do everything possible to express myself that way. I don't do it in a fake mode, but I do it intentionally though. Am I making sense? Yeah. Okay, so, so the next time you see someone's Instagram feed with only open house posts, okay? I want you to block that person. Just kidding, don't block them. But, but, but I will say this, okay? They are not getting any business from social media. None whatsoever, okay? The second thing to lasting success in 2019 is consistency. Consistency. This year, I have put out 
without exaggerating, over 50 videos on Facebook. None showing any of my listings. None. None showing any of my listings. None showing any of the houses that I sell. None. Every single video I've done has been informational, has been providing value to the consumer on the other side. Over 50, yes, sir. So I got a question. You said you put out 50 this year. Yes. That's more than like one a week, right? Correct. So what kind of systems do you put in place to be able to keep the consistency that you have? That was next in line. And okay, that's good right there. I will answer that question right next. Right. Okay, yeah, right next. <laughs> okay, okay. But, but consistency though, okay, means that you become, you become relentless. That no matter what happens, you are going to stay the course when it comes to your social media strategy, when it comes to using video in 2019. Look at this, almost every single time. As a matter of fact, this morning I filmed before being here for the mastermind. And then I honestly was like, oh my gosh, I do not want to film, man. This is so annoying. This sucks. And I, I honestly went and I busted out my camera and I sat down and I was like, all right, you know what? I got to do this because I'm staying the course. This is, this is one, of, one of the strongest pillars I have that is bringing me business. I got to do it. I gotta do it. There are so many days I don't wanna do it. And some days I'm like, you know what? I'm excited today, I'm pumped up, you know, and so on. I'm excited about it. But most of the time, honestly, it's hard to stay consistent doing this because it's so time consuming. Consistency is key. If you are not consistent with your social media strategy, if you're not consistent with your video strategy, okay, you will not see success with this and a few months from now, you'll be saying, oh my gosh, Steve has no idea what he's talking about, but I'll come to you and ask you how many videos you've done in six months and you'll probably say six videos. Steve, how, I haven't seen any of your stuff, <clears throat> so sorry, but um, how long are your average Videos. I just read a book by Gary B. Yeah, I awesome. I will answer that question here as well. Okay. Okay. So, okay. 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 So, to answer John's question here, okay. So, how do I stay consistent with my social media and my video specifically? Okay. So, the only way I'm able to stay consistent is by systemizing it. It's by creating a system around it. So, so, so let me show you how I do it. Okay. So, watch this. Is out. Okay. Lizzie was in here earlier, right? You guys saw her? Okay. So every Monday at 2 p.m., she emails out a newsletter. Every Monday. Every Monday. I know that. I'm going to look down on my phone, and the email is going to come in 2 p.m. It's in my email. Every Monday. She's like religious about it. But she writes it long before she emails it out. Okay, so watch this. Yeah. Every last week of every single month, I write out eight to twelve videos I'm gonna film the next month. Mm -hmm. So, for example, the last week of September, okay, I, I I literally went to a coffee shop. I was alone, and I sat down and I literally wrote out every single video I was going to film in October. I'm doing twelve in October. But I wrote them all out. You know why? Because the average person who, or sorry, the average realtor who is doing video wakes up randomly, mm, I'm going to film today because I don't have anything else to do. And then they show up to wherever they are going to film, and then, okay, what should I film about? Mm, okay, I'm going to film about this. And then they film. And then they hate it, and then they never do anything with it, and all of a sudden it just wasted a whole day going, mmm. So I want to show up when I'm gonna film and know exactly what I'm going to say in the video. You know why? Because I don't have time to go, mmm, because mmm 
will not keep me consistent. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example real quick. Look at this. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Look at this. Let me give you an example. Okay, so, okay, so, let's say, okay, I am, I am, uh, 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 I am at the coffee shop and I'm writing down what I'm going to film that next month, okay? Sorry about the light, guys, but look at this, okay. So, I'll go, okay, so video one. Okay, let me see this one, there you go. Okay, video one. All right, so I'll go, okay, I am gonna talk about, this is a good one, all right? This is a freebie right here, look at this. I, Cause I filmed this one this morning, but I just walked in and I filmed and I walked out. So, so uh, okay, so uh, video one, two ways rising rates affect everyone. Okay, but I don't only write what the video is about. I also write out my points. Because once again, I don't want to go mm, mm, mm when I'm sitting there. So I'll go, okay, point number one. Okay, buying power decreases. That's how you spell decreases. But you know what I mean. Decreases. There you go. Okay? So point number two. Monthly payment increases. So, guess what I did this morning? I already had this all written out. And I just literally walked in and I filmed in eight minutes. I timed myself. Sat down. Hit record. Boom, boom, boom. All right. I got to go to Scottsdale. Eight minutes. The average realtor spends one day doing this. You know why? Because they don't systemize it. Mm, mm, and what do I say? And then they start looking at the internet. And then they're on Facebook for another hour. And then on Instagram. And then, huh? I wonder what Steve did last week. Let's go see. Let me see John's. His are also awesome too. Let me go. See. And then, and then, okay. So, Systemize it. The last week of every month, you should know every single video you're gonna do the following month. So I did, look at this, I did in October 12 videos, and I wrote them all out. How long did it take me? It took me four hours. Where do you get your ideas? Answering questions everybody has. You know, for example, for example, I, uh, 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 um, uh, my lender, all right, told me, hey man, rates are rising. Have you heard? I'm on shoot, rising rates. What are ways rates affect people? And then, and then I, I am always on my notes app, writing show ideas. People ask me questions all the time. Hey Steve, you know, you know. What's something you would tell first-time home buyers? What's something you would tell first-time home buyers? And just make it up. You know, I could say a thousand things to them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Who's right? All of us are. You know what I'm saying? There are a thousand things we can tell first-time home buyers. You know, that's another video, you know? So, video two. Three tips for First time home buyers. What are they? Don't go buy a car. Don't go buy a car. <laughs> no car. What else? Make payments on time on your credit card. All right, credit card payments. Okay. What else? Have a down payment. Down payment. There. <laughs> there you go. How to save? Save money. Boom. <clears throat> That's a video. And guess what? You're not, you're not shoving things down people's throat. This is stuff anybody will watch. I constantly tell people, hey Steve, I 
I own my house already, but I love watching all your videos. Because everything is conversational. Everything is just giving people value. You know, every single post, you want them to leave, wow, that, those four minutes were well invested. I left with something. I hate it when I watch a video, oh my God, I just wasted my, my, you know, my, my, poop time watching this video when I could have played on my golf app. Just to get real with you guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> At least you're not filming in there. <laughs> golf clash. Okay. okay, so, but, okay, okay, so the last week, I, 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 religiously, because if I don't, I'm not going to make videos. So you can start off four videos. That's one a week. Imagine you were doing four videos a month. Four times 12 is how many videos? 48. 48. Someone's math is off. Who's off? 36 or 48. Who's right? 48. 48 videos. 48 videos you, you could have done this year. You could have been the Google of real estate this year. Mm -hmm. you, what would you believe your return is on all these videos? It's the only marketing I've done. And, and this year, I'm on track to probably close. I've been gone a lot this year. I'm probably going to close about 52, 55. So this is the only marketing you've done. And so you've gotten 50-some people calling you and saying, hey, Steve, I want to sell my house. Or, or, or buy. Or, 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 or people refer me. You know, But in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so, okay. Okay, so look at this. It's out. That question right there, okay, that's a very important question, and let me answer it this way, okay, look at this, sit down, sit down, sit down. When I started real estate, okay, I, I read half of the book, The Millionaire Real Estate. Mm -hmm. I read half of it, because I got bored after it, and I, I just got ADD, so I got to four chapters, I think it was, okay? That's about where I am right now. <laughs> awesome. Okay, okay, the only thing I took from that book, okay, the author said this, Okay, that book was written, I think, in 2000, 2001, originally, okay? It was revised again, who knows when, but, but okay, watch this out. He wrote that book pre-social media, okay? So he says in that book, okay, the average American knows two real estate agents, and your job is to be one of those two agents top of mind. So in there, he has this huge strategy about mailers and all these things and so on, you know? Okay, so when I read that, it just, it just leaped up. I'm going to shoot. How can I be one of those two in 2015 when I was brand new? I'm all like, you know what? I can stay top of mind via social media. So in some way, shape, or form, I could honestly say I am doing business now from videos I did last year or from social media posts I did last year, you know? So it's an ongoing thing as you build it. So the average agent thinks, okay, so it's one video, one client? No, it's you're building this pillar of business. You are building this for the long haul. This isn't one video, one client. This is, you are building your business and in your business, video is one of your pillars. Make sense? Yeah. You know, so, so the average agent gets discouraged with this stuff because man, I haven't gotten any, any you know, leads and so on. But the reality is, is that we shouldn't view this as one video, one lead. We should view this as, as an ongoing marketing pillar in your business. And there's the shift. That's what keeps you consistent when you have no business and you keep going at it and you keep going at it and your influence keeps growing and your branding keeps growing and you keep staying consistent with it. Um, she's been doing this eight years as my wife. I just got my, I'm going to get my license tomorrow. 
my personal question, how would I make a video about knowing anything about real estate when all my friends and family know that I just got my license tomorrow? I mean, I'm not like the credit person. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. There's no answer to that question. You just gotta go do it and make yourself the expert. And don't care what they think. It's only your, only your friends and people that dude, 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 dude. When I started and I did my first my first video was three things to look for when hiring a real estate agent. <laughs> that was my first video. The first one. It's like it's like shoot, we, you know my brothers are gonna call me a liar. My cousins are gonna be like, dude, what 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 are you doing? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, thankfully my cousins have bought from me, my brothers have too, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but I mean, I mean, this, if you don't start, you can't become the expert. Okay, so, okay, so look at this, okay, the last week I outlined all my videos, okay, so, okay, I was gone this past weekend, so I had to alter my schedule a little bit, but every Tuesday, okay, every Tuesday, this is for me, okay, you can do it for you, okay. Every Tuesday from 9 to 12, I never answer my phone. Do you know why? Because I'm making my videos. Every Tuesday. Every single... Of time. Huh? You do several at a time? Yes. Every single Tuesday, I film. Hmm. Just like people spend, you know, they call it time blocking for cold calls. Okay? I do time block in building my business using video. So from 9 to 12, no one can bug me. The only person that can bug me is my wife, I tell her. Besides that, I don't care if it's a lead, I don't care if it's what and so on, a lender, deals falling through, I'm filming. So every Tuesday from 9 to 12, if you want to reach me, you can't reach me. Because I'm making my videos. How long is your final cut average? Okay, so when I started, each video from film time to editing time took me about roughly like four to five hours. One video. No, I mean your finished video. Okay, how long? How long? Four minutes? Some are two minutes, some are six minutes. It depends what the content is. You know? Okay, so look at this. Here's up. Here's up. Don't write a book if you have a book of content that's probably about eight videos you can make from it. Make sense? Okay, so just keep it reasonable. If it's good, awesome. Do it five minutes. If it's short stuff, awesome. Do it two minutes, three minutes. You know, I think people worry about the wrong things. And that's one of the wrong things people worry about. Remember, look at this. Okay. Okay, okay. My ultimate goal is not for people to watch a six minute video. Not, I mean, dude, I don't even do that. I don't care how good it is. Vaynerchuk, I watch his for like three minutes and, and then I'm done with it. I'm like, all right, cool, all right, all right, whatever. Okay. 10 seconds is where the power's at. As long as they keep seeing you're a real estate agent, I don't care if they watch 30 seconds. I don't care, honestly. I just want them to keep seeing I'm a real estate agent. I want them to keep seeing I am the Google of real estate. I want them to keep seeing I'm putting out content and value. Is there anything that you do specifically in that first 10 seconds in every video? Yes. All right, but people are watching them, man. That's a secret. I'll tell you after. But yes. <laughs> There is actually, honestly, you know? Okay, okay, but, 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 okay. But the goal is not, or my goal is not for people to watch the whole video. You know why? Okay, it's estimated, even on YouTube, it's estimated, okay? Over 80% of people would never finish a video. These are real stats from YouTube. Over 80% of people would never finish a YouTube video. Makes sense. I don't. Ever. The only video I finish is when I'm in the shower and it's a music video and I just have it going, you know? <laughs> but besides that, you know, I'm always forwarding, forwarding, forwarding to like, you know, where I, 
what I want from the video. You know, so my goal is just to, they stop for a second, oh cool, it's Steve again, boom. You know why? That, oh, it's Steve again, oh, he's a real estate agent. All that matters. All that matters. You know, it's funny, yeah, I, I, it, it, it's so funny. I, I, how about a client in June? So, so, so we are, so, uh, 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 we are s seeing houses and so on, and then she says, oh, hey, man, I loved your video this morning. I'm like, oh, you watched it? She's like, yeah, I did. She's like, and then she says, oh, I watched all your videos. She has never liked one of my videos. Like, you know, hit like. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's watching. But yeah, she's watching. You know, so we shouldn't get too caught up on the likes, on the comments. You know, even though that's good, not everybody will do that. Okay, yeah. so look at this. So, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, go ahead. Do you have more success on Instagram, YouTube, or wherever you like to go, or it, everywhere? I was going to end with that conversation because that's an important conversation that I want to give you guys before you leave, okay? Because, because these are... These are, these are like, like stuff, honestly, people have no idea about, no idea about, okay? But, I'm gonna hook you guys up for staying here with me, okay? So, 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 okay, okay, so, okay, so watch this out. So every Tuesday, that's all. But, guess what? Like, you mentioned, sometimes I film three videos all at once. So, Monday night, I get all of my clothes ready and my video gear. You know why? Because I'm systemizing everything. I don't want to be stressed. I don't want to be that morning sweating after I shower and my hair gels is running in my eyes and I'm just, you know? I'm just, okay, here's my gear, here are my shirts, let's go. But, so that's how I stay consistent. I systemize so that I'm not playing that mmm game, which the average agent plays that mmm game every single day. It's true. You know, so how do I stay consistent? Right here, systemize everything. So every Tuesday from 9 to 12, I'm filming. If you follow my Instagram on Tuesdays, pay attention. I'm, I'm always, hey guys, I'm filming here. On Mondays, I get all my video stuff ready so that I can just, all right, let's go. I gotta go here, my shirts in my car, boom, I'm at the office and I put everything. All right, let's go. Rock and roll. Boom, boom, boom. All right, my shirt, baby, that's video one. Let me swap shirts, boom, next video. Super, super systematic about it and it's the way I I've been able to stay consistent with it. Um, and then, uh, oh dang, that thing closed. And then uh, my, 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 uh, my, my, my third point was, hold on a second, I even forgot about this. I, I uh, um, spoke at a, oh no, come on, dang, hold up, sorry guys, give me one second. You got it right here, boom, hold up. I got it right here, boom, boom, boom. Perfect, okay, here we go, okay. And so, uh, uh, okay, 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 so I talked about that, I, I, I talked about that, okay, talked about that, okay, so, okay, so I, just, I talked about that, I'm all over the place, let me see, okay, so, all right, so, okay, so let's talk uh, a little bit about, you know, some, some video gear stuff, okay, so watch this out. You know, it's okay. So, really, if you are in real estate and you're very serious about, uh, you know, doing videos and so on, okay, look at this. You can start with with your phone, but your phone has to be the best phone. Okay, if you have an iPhone six, retire from real estate today. <laughs> like for real, okay. You need to have the best stuff. Okay, so I have. The iPhone X right here, okay? This iPhone X shoots in 4K. Look at this. 
Okay, a camera I bought in 2012 that cost me two grand, this thing now films that same quality. Right here. Okay, your phone. You know, so invest in stuff. I can hook this up here too as well. But look, invest in stuff. Practice. Where'd you get that? How much was it? Right here. Okay, I have a website that everybody can go to that shows everything I use. Okay, look at this camera. Look at this right here. You can see yourself. <laughs> and then record yourself. Okay. This camera here, it's just in 4K. This this has become one of my favorite things in the whole world, actually. This camera right here, it's a Canon M50. It's freaking amazing. It's incredible. This thing right here, you know? And and I am gonna start doing some vlogs. More and more. Hey guys, you know this, blah, 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 blah. I just got this thing right here, not too long ago. Okay, some of my recent videos are filmed right from this camera. And it's so cheap. I ripped someone off on off bro. <laughs> <laughs> Took advantage of an opportunity. Huh? Took well, advantage of an opportunity. Well, no. Well, my Sony one cost me uh, three grand. I still have a really good one. It cost me three grand. What's that one called? This is just on the go. I got it on offer up for four fifty. You guys are like four hundred fifty bucks. That's so cheap. My other camera cost three grand. I have another one. Uh, that costs fifteen hundred bucks. How much does that cost for Best Buy? To Sony, this brand new Best Buy, I think you find it for like seven hundred bucks. On offer up, you you can find them on average about five hundred, five fifty, and so on. You know because they also most of them on on offer up want to sell it uh, with your SD card. Oh, uh, with your small card that it records on. You know, but <clears throat> this. It's small investments that can give you Vaynerchuk quality. Who watches Vaynerchuk? On, on Instagram, and so on, okay. All right, so his Instagrams are like whatever quality. He just has so much authority that who the heck cares what it looks like now? You know, the average person Worries about, oh my gosh, you know, this angle is that so on. Dude, like, I stopped that a lot. I'm like, okay, Steve, you know, you're wasting too much time wanting perfect, you know, and not being able to put out more content. That's why I got this puppy right here. So that on the fly, wherever I'm at, I can just put it down. I'm not worried about beating it up a little bit because it wasn't three grand like my other camera, you know, and, 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 and you know. You know, has this and so on, and then like, like I literally want to triple, triple what I'm doing right now. Like triple what I'm doing right now. You know, so I'm investing in, you know, like, you know, this small thing and like, you know, this right here. And, and you know, you know, just over time, I, I probably have about just in like video stuff, uh, like not to exaggerate, probably like eight grand worth of stuff, eight to 10 grand worth of stuff. You know, you know, with like lights and, and with professional microphones, and I mean, I like, you know, to, but I realized this is all I need right here. That's on your website? Yeah, and all this, you know, probably cost about 600 bucks. And like, honestly, when I'm making these, I like laugh because my $3,000 camera does the exact same thing and no one notices on the other side of the screen. How much is that external you know that? mic? Yeah, yeah, uh, this external mic is uh, 60 bucks. 50 bucks. Yeah, 50, 60 bucks. Is there a model or make or something? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 uh, I'll uh, hand you the website. Right. Where to go on someone, you know? And so, uh, uh, and so I, okay, do this. Remember I told you about my my friend uh, from Texas who just got licensed, he's doing video, okay, okay, watch, watch, check it out.
Check this out. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Where's my phone at? That's right here. Okay, watch this. Let me show you this. Okay, watch this. Look. Watch this. Hold on a second. Watch this. Let me see. Watch this. Look at this. I mean. So while you're doing that, are you saying that the quality on Instagram isn't necessarily as important as maybe some other medium? Uh, no. No, I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Okay. Hey guys, Sean Lee. How do you do this? Look at that quality and his audio. Isn't that awesome? And that's because you have that camera there or the one you have there. Look at that. Look at the quality of that video. That's his iPhone. Which model? <laughs> this model, the iPhone X. Not the new one, like last year. Look, look at this. I'm like, oh my gosh. It looks better than some of my my videos with the three grand camera I told them. When when you know you know when you know because the more expensive it is, the better you have to be at using those those things and, and sometimes I'm off on things and it looks like I'm like bootleg videos and this guy with the iPhone has, has incredible audio. You heard the audio? Watch this, watch, please. Let me show you this example. Here, watch this. Watch this. Because I told him, hey, buy this microphone, I told him, you know? Okay, so watch, watch the difference in audio. Okay, look. All right, that's, he had his mic ready, watch out. Uh, you can tell that first video is pretty bad. <laughs> okay, that's at max volume. Okay, look. Okay, now let's go back to when he got his mic. Hey, they say audio is the number one thing when people watch videos. They will forgive you for video quality, but they won't forgive you for audio quality. Isn't that crazy? Night and day, huh? With the dumb mic on. I saw a video just about that where basically you show the difference. And he says, you know, if you got a video and, and it starts, if you got a video and the audio starts going, they're going to turn it off. But if you have a video and the visual starts going, but they can still hear you, they're going to listen to it. So continue watching. Correct. Absolutely. 100%. Is that a Bluetooth uh, microphone that he has? No, I will shoot you a link that has, it's not this mic, it's another mic. But is it, not, is it Bluetooth or not Bluetooth? No, not Bluetooth. But, but you don't see it because it, it, it's, it, it's, uh, 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 it's a, um, uh, it's a lapel mic. Oh, wow. And how much is that? 20 bucks. Uh, right now. Yeah. But hey. Don't tell anybody else, all right? This is between us. I actually, I actually just, well, I bought it and I use it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this sounds better than my $800 lapel mics. It's freaking insane. Yeah, I that. And that syncs up with the iPhone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or this. I bought it for this, but I, I, I'm, I'm also using it for that from Sony, yeah? Crazy, huh? Yeah. So, awesome stuff. So Steve, Man, I should have charged this class, honestly. <laughs> um, maybe I misunderstood you when you were talking about Gary being Instagram quality. Are, are you saying that Instagram is a media that... No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying that Vaynerchuk's video quality is like whatever. Right. Like, sometimes it's all, it's like blurry a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think he deliberately does that sometimes too, but he's just such a voice. But I'm I'm saying back to this question of Snapchat, uh, Instagram, YouTube, where do you feel your get the most bang for your buck? Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Facebook and, and Instagram are are your uh, your 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 bread and butter right now. But Instagram oh, you're is question. like millennials and Facebook is fifty five and over? No. It's everybody now. Watch, but I'll, 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 I'll show you uh, the, 
I'll show you the biggest difference, okay? Here in a sec. She has a question over here. What do you use for your lighting? Good question. It's on my link that I'll shoot you, okay? But I use a round, it's called a... a yeah, like a ring light? Yeah, th there you go. That's what it is, ring light, you know? You know, what? Well, it's like 70 bucks, 80 bucks, you know? I mean, you could find stuff that is cheaper, you know, but I only use that, I mean, when, whenever I really need lighting because with like my skin and I'm so oily, a light on me, when it's not needed, it's just overkill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know? what do you even use YouTube for? Just uploading? I mean, I use, I use YouTube as a library. So, yeah, correct. Okay. So, uh, during, during the mastermind, I mentioned that, uh, that, I saw a sign that said for sale by owner, you know, and then I never call for sale by owners, you know, I probably should, I just don't, I'm like, eh, you know, the whole world probably calls them, I thought, you know, so, so I see the number and then I shoot, shoot the number, a message and say, hey, my name's Steve, I'm a real estate agent, this is my YouTube channel, I would love to help you sell your house. In, in a half hour, we're on the phone. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, seriously. Video, right? You know, <laughs> you know, and so, and so, and so, and so but, but, yeah, really. but she was able to see. Oh my gosh, this guy freaking, like, you know, is is on social media. Wow, he sells houses. Wow. We got you in the door. Where others calling him up to try and get in the door. Greg, you know, here's my website. No, video, you build relationship. You know, I was, I spoke at a conference two weeks ago. There were, there were over 500 realtors and lenders there. It's a huge conference they had, okay? Mm -hmm. Everybody who walked with me, oh my gosh, Steve, I feel like I know you. Video does that. Video does it. Oh, oh, literally, almost everybody. Oh my gosh, Steve, you are you are the exact same in person, like in your videos. You know, I mean, you, you know, I I joke with this a lot, you know, but like sometimes, you know, I know I shouldn't, but sometimes I show up to listen appointments with like nothing in my hands. I'm like, hey, cool, I will email you tonight. You know, because, because, because I know if they're calling me and they watch my videos, I'm not going to interview. I, I'm just going to go meet them. It's like, in my pocket, done deal. You know, but I have built that relationship over and 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 over. And guess what? 2019... And over and over and over and over, it ain't stopping. I'm telling you, I, I am going to triple down on this next year. Triple down. Doing neighborhood business. Possibly. <laughs> I don't know yet exactly. But I am going to produce a lot more content. A lot more content. You know why? Because people keep eating it up. That's like eating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, okay. <clears throat> this ain't even working. Is this working? Still it off? Okay, so, okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, okay, so watch this. Okay, so watch this. It's very important. Let's talk about Instagram real quick, okay? So, look, Instagram is a whole another animal, okay? Okay, so watch this. Out. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about this. All right, look at this. I want to talk a little bit about this, and it's so, so powerful if you're able to grasp it. Okay, if you are able to grasp this concept, okay, just like social media is no longer about politics, no longer about saving whales, you know, free Willy died already. Don't worry about whales anymore. Okay, worry about your business. Worry about your future. Worry about your influence. About your impact. Now look at this. <clears throat> okay, so watch this. Okay, so, okay. So, grasp this, okay? Because look at this. Now, every social media 
functions differently. Okay, every social media does, okay? Now, now I, I know that we can go to real estate conferences and new apps are coming out and so on. I never pay attention to anything. They say, oh, new app this, not that. You know why? There's nothing bigger than Facebook and Instagram. Nothing. You know, the only app outside of those real estate related that I kind of like, you know, hang out with a little bit is next door. You ever heard about next door? You know, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit on there so on, you know. But, <clears throat> but I mean, you know, app this, app that, my gosh, apps come up every single, sorry, little kitty, every single month. You know, earlier this year, this new app, Vero or Vivo or remember, remember that app? Yeah, the, yeah. Bevo, and then everybody started jumping on it. It lasted a month and it died like that. And then real estate is, oh, you know, uh, uh, I'm, a, uh, uh, I'm a marketing expert and, you know, you know, you, you know, this is next and yada, yada, yada. You know, most, most real estate coaches are failed real estate agents. That's why I don't pay attention to them unless you've done real estate. You know, you've done real estate, all right. You've been in the trenches. You know what's up. So what's this, okay, okay. okay. So every, every social media functions differently, okay? So I have 10 more minutes, okay, so watch this, okay. Okay, so, so the most powerful social medias right now are Instagram and Facebook, okay? All right, for real estate agents, in my opinion, okay? From what I'm seeing, okay, so watch this. Okay, okay, but, but people want to use Instagram like if it's Facebook, okay? Let me give you an example, okay? So, I, okay. so let's say you make a, a three minute video, okay? Okay, all right, here it is, okay? Okay, Facebook allows you to Post videos up to how long? Like, like way over an hour, like a yeah. long, 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 long time, right? Okay, all right, so let's see Facebook right here, Facebook. Okay, so Instagram allows you how long for videos? 60 seconds. 60 seconds, one minute. Okay, it's one minute. Okay, so, so, but Instagram introduced earlier this year this option where now you can swipe stuff. You can swipe posts, okay? So, so you can have, for example, uh, 10 pictures of your family vacation in Europe, you know? And so, you know, here's one picture and if you swipe, it'll go to the next picture. And if you swipe, it'll go to the next picture and so on and so on. Okay. All right. So, what what I see people do, they they want to force their video into Instagram and and make people swipe to the next part of your video. No. Okay. The percentage of people that swipe on videos on, on Instagram is under 12%. So, <clears throat> look at this. Don't force the concept of one platform into the next. So you might ask, what do you do? Well, you have to use it differently. So, for example, let's say you are using, let's say you are doing a video on credit score. You know, three things that kill your credit score, let's say, okay? Okay, so you got one point, two points, kill score, uh, score, okay? That's your video, you poured your heart into it, your soul into it, and so on, okay. So now, look at this, okay, so now, so, so now, so it's a three minute video and it's really good, all right? 
<clears throat> so now for Instagram, okay, you only have one minute. Okay, so the narrative has to be different. Okay? The story behind the exact same video has to be different. So, let me give you an example. <clears throat> okay? Facebook is your story. Instagram is your punchline. Okay? So, so the way you can begin to be successful on Instagram is making one video punchline videos. So for example, for example, okay, so let's say, let's say you're saying, you know, point, you know, one, two, three here on Facebook about killing your credit score, okay? So on Instagram, okay, you record a one minute video of a punchline. So what could I say that just punches people about your score? So for example, let me give you an example, okay? I just made a video, okay? A video that I'm gonna post either, uh, I'm gonna post, I think on Friday I'm gonna post it, okay? So pay attention to it, okay, but watch this. So it's a three minute video actually, okay? And it talks about how we're right around the corner of the most expensive time of the year. Okay? So I I talk about, you know, budgeting for Christmas. You know, I talk about not using your credit cards to buy presents. And then I talk about saving your money for your future. Okay? So it's a really good video, I think. You know, it's very impactful, very, you know, so on, so on. Okay, so on Instagram, okay, I wanted to give the exact same concept, but not doing it three minutes. So I had to think about how can I condense my thought into a one minute phrase that just knocks people out. You know? So, don't, don't quote me on this, but I said something like, October is here and right around the corner is the most expensive time of the season. We have Black Friday coming, we have Christmas coming, and guess what happens? The average American gets into debt. Now, I want to encourage you, 2019 is right around the corner and today is when you begin to live out those goals. Don't spend your future by spending it this holiday season. I took this and made it into a punchline, one minute Instagram. That's good. Okay, so do you get my concept? Mm -hmm. huh? but then you basically do two for every idea. Not always, because not every video I have an Instagram for. But, but and, and sometimes I only make Instagrams and not these. So it's a whole strategy. But so, so when you're saying you're doing the um, 12 videos for October, they're split between the two platforms. Well, sometimes not split. Sometimes I, I do, you know, four here and uh, here and just, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's part of the scripts that you do at the end of the month. Yeah. 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 So I always max stuff out. So this the average the average real estate agent pay attention to their Instagram all they do on Instagram is sell they don't give anything I'm telling you I am excited about this video you know why it challenges people people feel wow you know what man it's so true people feel encouraged by a quick little punchline boom let me give you an example of of the Instagram I do okay so watch this out. Okay, so I should say that. So, um, okay, so I should. Okay, I should. Here, here is an example. Okay, just, just listen to it. Okay, watch this. I posted a three-minute video about two years 
about how the average, uh, how I had, I had met with the family and told them it was gonna be roughly about two years for them to be able to buy a house, okay? So I made a Instagram about it, uh, and so watch Luke, watch Luke. Well, well, okay, the video on Facebook actually talked about how two years goes like this, and there are two types of people. The first person that says, you know what, all right, I'm after it, two years will come like this, and the second type of person, oh my gosh, so far away, all right, I'll see what I do, and so on. And then two years comes, and they're in the exact same cycle, right? Yeah. Okay, so I condensed a three-minute and some-second thought into a one-minute Instagram. Watch. Listen. We want to buy, but you're not ready to buy. Take advantage of whatever season that might look like. For this family, it's two years, but two years of preparation. They are going to feel so confident, so empowered when the day comes to purchase the house. So two years goes by like this. So many individuals and families, when they think about two years, they think about, you know what, it's so far away, I'll just wait until I'm getting closer to start preparing. But these two years, I told this family, could be the best two years of your entire life. This is when you begin to get your household in order, get your finances in order. You just kill your debt. You save like never before and you start to prepare to buy a house properly get ready today so that tomorrow you don't have to work on getting ready boom all in one minute just a punchline boom but i stopped and i recorded myself again i'm all right cool how can i condense this into one minute all right let's go play boom and i literally just like stood there if you go watch my instagram i'm there standing i like move a little bit yada 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 but I'm understanding. Are you putting these into the <clears throat> Instagram feeds or on your story? Is there an advantage to do one versus the other? Uh, uh, no. Okay, so let's talk three minutes about stories, okay? So stories are like a vlog. So most of us probably don't have the time to be walking around like this, right? Okay, but Instagram stories, I use it as my personal vlog. So I wake up in the morning sometimes, making coffee with my daughter. It's just like, you know, small clips throughout my day. So Instagram stories, the way I use it is my daily vlog. My Instagram posts are the punchlines. My Facebook videos are my stories. Crazy strategy, huh? But I'm telling you, look at this. If you're able to do this, it's going to change the way people perceive you. I'm telling you, in three years, never would I have imagined talking to, you know, 500 real estate agents and lenders and, you know, it was literally, you know, just a few years back, I was brand new, hadn't sold a house yet. Right. Literally, I had not sold a house yet and now, you know, this. It's crazy. So... So study these things. Study Instagram and study Facebook. Remember, don't force the Facebook platform into Instagram. Don't force it in there. Don't force it in there. Instagram is its own platform. So every picture I post on Instagram, not every picture goes on Facebook. Because I, because I respect each platform. What about Instagram TV? IGTV is still in the works, you know? I mean, you know, you know, you know, my videos on there, they get about 100 views, maybe less. You know, it's kind of still, you know. Instagram has no idea what it's going to do with it yet. You know what I'm saying? Personally, even my favorite people that post IGTVs, I never watch them. You know, so it, it's kind of in, you know, you know, but I love watching their punchlines. Okay, go study Gary Vee's punchlines. Yeah. It's always one minute of a conversation he's having. So, you know, here's my conversation and here's my punchline. Crazy, huh? But I'm telling you, in 2019, become 
your own media agency and you watch how your influence grows, if you're able to influence, you're able to impact. If you're able to impact, income will come. And I'm done. Do you post on a, on a business page and then post it over to, or do you post directly on your personal page? On directly Facebook? on my personal page, and then weeks later, I'll post on my business page. What are you using for your editing with your music and your flashes? And I mean, I, I watch your stuff, so. iMovie and Pro Premiere, or it's called Premiere Pro. I use both still, and I consistently still use both. Okay. Thank you, because your stuff is incredible yeah and then and, and, and so so yeah so this was a freebie I wasn't gonna talk about this but I'm telling you my gosh I am getting the best engagement using the strategy right here basically it's for video uh, uh, on the go kind of for instead of like an email I'm hearing a lot of people I'm going to be asking for that and over the emails they might be a short video and you kind of like kind of group it together and just hey you have to do something so just uh, saying hi to you folks or whatever it may be you have heard of that bomb bomb no idea yeah, yeah. it's like a text message it's a text message video huh? it's a pretty box a big advocate of it oh really mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's video it's bomb bomb oh, it's on, it takes the place oh. of like like, like, like. I mean, I mean, I, I mean. To be honest with you, I mean, there are like, I mean, a bunch of apps out there, and like, I mean, yeah, use them. I don't know. Let me know how it works for you. If it works, you. I want to use it. You know, I don't know. Well, it kind of seems like because people end up putting up emails. It's a delivery platform. What is the website to Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, you know, I use uh, uh what's called uh, shout out. Yeah, shout out, and uh, and I send out like like I'm bad at it, but I should be better. But I, I could send out five emails to up to like yeah, but ten thousand people, something like that. But I guess the point is, those are emails, right? Okay, what they're saying is people and myself are doing this. They're not opening emails. They're talking, I mean, if they see it again, what this is, it's like you just said, flat. Short, really short video preference. So instead of the video, instead of the, the email, you just say it in a quick video and, and die. And they'll open it. Oh, whatever you have, it's just really quick. It's pretty cool. interesting. I'll look into it. Yeah, because it's, it's been around for years. Yeah, you know, but I think people using it better at open rates. Yeah, I think the idea about. Hey, 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 who has an Instagram here called Animal Something? No one? No. Oh, you. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, because I got your DM. Hey, I, I'm going to your class. Or like, or no, you posted a question to the... Yeah. I was like, who the heck is... Who the heck is animals? <laughs> what, what, what was the website see with the equipment that you... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me write it down here before I see that. I'm going to update it, okay, but... Uh, I don't think like everything's on there, so give me literally until tomorrow, okay? Backslash and my name, Steve Penate. Okay? Kit.com backslash Steve Penate. Backslash what? Steve? Oh, yeah, yeah, just my whole name. So it's kit.com forward slash or backslash, however you say it. And then my full name, uh, uh, Steve and then P E N E T E. All right, so Steve. I, I, thank you. I hope. Thank you. Was this good or no? Yeah. 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 Was it really good? Yeah. That's good. It's good. Put yeah. yeah. the line again. Right. All right. Don't get your punchlines, all right? I'll be on the lookout for them. That's awesome. So, how close to San Antonio are you going to be, or are you going to be close to uh, Three hours. Oh, okay. My sister just moved over there. Oh, really? Nice. So do you coach? I mean, do you...